I would like to go through the post-mounted Series 5 box that's on the unit. Again, this is a post. It's permanently either going to be mounted on the right or left of the chair. It is not one of our right-left swing units. On the post box itself, this one does not have a cuspidor, but you could also order a cuspidor as an accessory that would directly come out of the top of the post box over for the patient to rinse in. Both post-mounted box will have a telescoping assistance arm that will come completely out, out directly to the head of the patient for the assistant to be able to reach. It has a 360 degree swivel on the neck and then the handpiece holder itself will continually rotate 360 degrees. So whatever angle the assistant would like to have her dynamic instruments at, uh, she can position them comfortably. We supply a four port bar that's on this and with this you will get one HVE valve, a slide ejector valve, and a three-way syringe. With each of these you can always add the second HVE valve just by ordering the part from your dealer and it'll plug directly into the collection canister. On the collection canister is where the vacuum trap is located so if you lift the lid up and pull the screen out this can be tossed away and you can put a new one in it. But the part number for these uh, disposable traps is 52875. That's 52875. I would suggest at least once a week at a minimum, uh, preferably once every two to three days in a busy practice, uh, and that will prevent the slide ejector and the HVE valve from losing power. Also that's standard on the post-mounted units is both an air and a water quick disconnect and a water flow valve. So the water flow valve will control the water flow to the water quick disconnect. Uh, so you can plug a Cavitron, you can do both of them, air and water, to plug a ProVJet in, uh, but those are standard on our Series 5 post-mounted unit. A couple of things we'll supply you with with the assistance instrumentation is for each syringe you'll have a repair kit. There's a set of instructions uh, for pictures for us that can't read and then also all of the springs and o-rings to be able to rebuild the syringe. The most common thing that happens with a syringe is you'll get a drippy syringe. If you get a drippy syringe you just shut the unit off Pull the two buttons out. Everything you need to rebuild those buttons will be in the kit. Reinsert the buttons back in it and that'll stop your drippy syringe. Also the syringe tip we supply is a autoclavable syringe tip and these actually should be changed each time and you'll keep these on your instrument tray and bring them in for each patient. But to order additional syringe tips that part number is 3059 or 3059 uh, and then you can get multiple tips and just keep them on your uh, instrument trays and bring them in with a new set of instruments. The other thing that DCI has done which is neat is when you insert the tip the tip will not rotate. So as an assistant if you're using this also as a lip retractor the tip's not going to continue to roll all the way around you can still control your spray. We also supply you with two bottle brushes. With each large HVE valve, you'll get a large bottle brush, and with each slide ejector, you'll get a small bottle brush. But at the minimum, once a week, the valves should be completely pulled apart. You can disconnect them off the, off the hose, and then take the large bottle brush, run them through the barrel, run it down through the tip, clean it out, Add a little lubricant, whether it be Vaseline or handpiece oil, on the O-rings to keep them, and then just snap everything back together again. It'll be the same process for the slide ejector. Push the barrel out. You can disconnect it from the hose. Use the smaller bottle brush. Run up and down, run it through the barrel, and then just re-snap everything back together. But if you do this once a week, I'll guarantee you that these will go a lot longer and they'll be a lot easier to shut on and off.